are concentrated in the hands of the top management of the organization. So centralized means only the top level management hold power. All the others, middle level, low level, no power. They have to follow top level management's decisions. Is that clear now? Right? Centralization allows on the one hand a unified decision from the center. On the other hand, limits the autonomy. Limits the autonomy means the freedom. Right? So you don't have freedom because your free your freedom is limited. Your freedom is limited. Of organizational units and may reduce flexibility of the decision. Most high level or big decisions are made by the central central uh, structure, the, cent uh, uh, the people at the top, top level management hold power, hold decisions. Middle level, low level, we just hold. Is that okay now? Alright? Centralization may concern all decisions and powers. So all decisions and powers. Right? Or maybe centralized only selected managerial function. Generally, all decisions and powers are with the top management. Is that okay now? That's called centralized. Decentralization is a method of organizing and management. Organizing and management, where management and decision making powers are delegated, are shared. Powers are delegated. Delegated means shared. Right? Delegated or shared. From center to the hands of management of individual organizational units. Very good. Like Noah say, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Fun may be the CEO. And when it comes to academic affairs, we have many different uh, uh, subdivisions, right? We have security, we have got cleanliness, we have got ac academic affairs, then we've got student affairs, alright? So academic affairs, one person in charge, professor. And, uh, then academic affairs, professor, make sure the different departments, they have a head. So, like Mr. Tiger for airline services. Then for airline services, Mr. Tiger has an aid on program, Miss Elaine, right? And then Miss Elaine tries and manages the, the lecturers below in that in that department. So it is decentralized. Is that okay? It is power sharing. Is that clear now? All right. Decentralization allows more flexible decision making and greater autonomy or freedom of individual organizational units. On the other hand, it may be missing sorry, a uniform coordination from the center. Missing a uniform coordination from the center. So in decentralization, the powers are shared and sometimes big decisions are made by the middle or even low level managers. Is that clear now? Right? But they will report to the top management what is the decision taken. Is that clear now? Okay. Alright, so understand centralization, decentralization. Definitely coming for the midterm exam. Decentralization may concern all decisions and powers, or only selected managerial, managerial functions may be decentralized. Alright? Decentralization in practice. See, decentralization is mainly used for large companies where it is necessary to delegate powers to the subunits and increase their ability to make independent decisions and to respond flexibly to changes in the surroundings. Okay. Ah, oh, that's great. Pros and cons of centralization and decentralization. Centralization focuses on goals. That's the positive side of it. The, uh, Negative side, top management will be overwhelmed by work. That means all decisions they have to take. So that is the negative side to it. Decentralization, the positive side is it offers flexibility in decision making. And negative side, it does not focus on goals. Right? Because goals are usually set by the top management. When you decentralize powers, then 
people do work, but they don't know the actual or the ultimate goal that organization wants to achieve. Okay, I think they'll come to the end. Uh, all right, let's uh, do number one, two, three. All right, do one, two, three, and then we'll take a break. All right, uh, can, can you quickly, with your partner, with your partner, can you help each other work with a partner? Try and find the explanation of the definition of organization. State the difference between organization and non-organization and list three management levels and their responsibilities. All that we have already discussed, yeah? So quickly, go into that, do some work and then explain to me. Doing that work, you can copy. It's easy, right? Like ex example. Explain the definition of, the, of organization. Straight away, go here. You know it's here. I've highlighted.